I do all the track prep for Dodge. Yeah, and how long have you been doing it? About 12 years. Okay, so you're uh, been one of the five guys in the world who does this sort of thing, right? Five guys in the country that do it at the level that I... That you do it, yeah. That, yeah, the standard that we keep. <laughs> Livening the track up right now after we just got done running we had a bunch of bald spots off there So we're, we're fixing the bald spots and, and dulling it back down and getting a nice even layer of rubber back on the surface for y'all So how sticky is that? I mean if you walk on it you can feel it, right? Oh, yeah, it's um, uh, For the demon car. Uh, it's a really touchy touchy vehicle. Yeah um, it, it takes an extreme drag radial prep on my traction meter it, it goes up to 650 now a normal top fuel dragster will like about you know, anywhere from 375 to 550. You know, it, it will, it'll take a 600. Now, the Demon, I can't use my track meter because it needs to be upwards of 900 or 1,000. It just pegs the meter. And uh, we've had instances where you cannot walk on it. Absolutely cannot walk on it. In your press kit, you gave me uh, a drag strip, right? Yeah. Which uh, says 9.650 yep. uh, at 140.09. That's your trap time, right? That's pretty yep. darn fast. And then the one that I really enjoy is this one. It's the Guinness World Book of Records. Yeah. Uh, the longest wheelie from a standing start in a production car measuring 2.92 feet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> the, Guinness, the Guinness record is a really cool one. I mean, running nines in a production car was awesome. And then doing a wheelie at the same time, I mean, that's just so cool. <laughs> The first production vehicle to have wheel lift. Yeah. You know, I've seen this vehicle. Uh, I think Guinness Guinness got it at about 36 inches, and uh, I've seen this car do over a thousand passes. And uh, I can tell you that the height is probably right about six inches, and I've seen it go upwards of probably 10 feet <laughs> in optimal conditions. That's it's just crazy. can you catch it at the right moment, right? So it lifts. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a difference between prepping a track for, let's say, drag radials uh, and street, no, drag like Hoosiers and, and street radials? Is there a difference in the way you prep it? Well, yeah, if you're, if you're going to have a slick, a slick prep, you're going to want more of a duller surface. Now, you can look out there and see how dull, dull it is and the outsides are shiny. Yeah, yeah. Now, the, the shiny outsides, that's glue. And where he's dragging, that's just sort of dulling the glue up and that's actually creating a, a shear bond. Okay. Like, uh, if you imagine, it opens the polymers up like this, like fingers. Uh, I have a microscope at home that we've, we've looked at this. And when you spray on it, the spray comes and it touches the tips of the spray. A slick tire is going to want a shear, a shear prep, which basically is when the rotator comes over, it pushes the glue inside here and it creates a shear, okay. a shear movement. Now a drag radial is going to want a tack. Now that's just where the glue is on top of here and it just loves tack. Now once you get out towards, you know, 150 to 200 feet here, the Demon will like shear. It will, it will still handle the shear out there. So we usually give it a radial prep out to about 150 feet and that's about optimal. Now you said you were here until midnight last night? Like, I was. What did you do? I was. We had five inches of rain in three and a half hours yesterday and we had a lake at the 1320 and we had a little bit of water penetrate our surface. So we had to actually go ahead and uh, scrape down to absolutely bare, bare concrete. Yep. Yep, and then uh, rebuild the surface last night. We ended up burning through uh, four brand new Hoosiers on our rotator, so I had to put four brand new ones on this morning. Tire wrinkles, so when the car launches, it, it wrinkles, you know, right? now that they, they've, they've let it load back on the back, and, and, it, and when it takes off, it's just gripping hard, and you can just see it knuckle up. Yeah, you can see kind of the wrinkles going. Yeah, on all the commercials yeah. that we have here. That's Ryan Johnson. Yeah. He is actually uh, getting the uh, traction sprayer. So that's got all of our PJ1 traction compound in it. Okay. 
And uh, that's how you put the compound down. Correct, correct. We're gonna go ahead and give it a shot of spray. So, so that puts an, an excessive amount down, and it's very hard to control now. And if you put too much glue down right now, and we got high sun um, this afternoon, and our track temp rises above 100, you're going to see that the track will get a little bit gooey. Now, and that's something we don't want to do. And, and if it happens. If that happens, we need to get the rotator out to try to dull it down, and if that doesn't work, then we have to return to scraping the glue off, scraping the polymers off, and then reapplying the rubber base, and then a little bit of glue at a time to, you know, to bring the track back to where we want it, because we went overboard with right. it, right? Then it slows the car down, I suspect, right? Well, actually, it, it won't launch. Okay. You'll, you'll get wheel spin, and it will go, da, 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 da. you know like, like, you like, what I mean? Hop, yeah, like yeah, yeah, and that's just no good. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. no good to anybody. <laughs> For the last year, I was the uh, track operations manager for the International Hot Rod Association, the IHRA. So I got to travel the country and, and see all these different surfaces and see the different types of areas. And, and one thing I really learned about, about the traveling circus, per se, yeah. is that when you're flying in or driving in, you have to look at your surroundings and, and see what the mountains look like, what they're made of. Um, if you're on the East Coast, if you're in the Central where you got dust, because all of your all of your, your, your aggregate yeah. is gonna come from your surroundings for that track. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of what you're gonna do to yeah. be able to prep and how you're gonna be able to make the bond and, and what you're looking at. Yeah. I mean, East Coast, you're gonna have seashells, you know? In the desert, you're gonna have some, some red rock Got and, and yeah, some yeah. other stuff, yeah, you know? So, so the Brainerd's gonna have taconite, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. in, their, in, their, in, their, in their surface, so that's awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you guys so much for coming. Appreciate it.